everyone. Today I wanted to go over coding ICD-10 PCS in the extracorporeal assistance performance and therapy section of our ICD-10 PCS codebook. So just like all the other ICD-10 PCS codes, this section also has seven characters. Remember that all the ICD-10 PCS codes are always going to have seven characters. The character codes differ just a little in the extracorporeal assistance and performance and extracorporeal therapy section from other sections, such as the medical and surgical or the bigger ones that we're used to. In this section of the ICD-10 PCS book, our seven character codes are, the first character is the section, the second character is the body system. The third character is the root operation. So everything we're kind of used to. The fourth character is the body system. Now this is where it starts to change a little. Instead of the approach like we had in the medical and surgical section, the fifth character here is for duration. So the length or time of a procedure. The sixth character is the function. And then the seventh character, like our other sections, is for the qualifier. Next, the root operations are different from those that you've seen before in the medical and surgical section as well. We have 11 root operations in the extracorporeal therapy section, and we have three root operations in the extracorporeal assistance and performance section. So the three in the extracorporeal assistance and performance section are assistance, performance, restoration, and the 11 that are in the extracorporeal therapy are atmospheric control, decompression, electromagnetic therapy, hyperthermia, hypothermia, perfusion, phoresis, phototherapy, ultrasound therapy, ultraviolet light therapy, and shockwave therapy. Just like the other root operations that you've learned, it's imperative that you become familiar with the root operation definitions. It's very important to use flashcards or other kind of study tools to become familiar with what the root operation definition is to help you navigate through the documentation you're coding and decipher what it is that you're coding. Remember what the intent of the procedure is. So in your Appendix B of your ICD-10 PCS codebook, there are the definitions for all of the root operations. So that's a good resource to look these up. Okay, now I just wanted to take a couple minutes and practice going through some cases from the extracorporeal assistance, performance, and extracorporeal therapy section. So let's look at our first case. We have a 65-year-old patient with end-stage renal disease who is being admitted for renal dialysis. Renal dialysis was performed for 12 hours. So the first thing you always ask yourself is what is our root operation? And from there we determine what is our ICD-10 PCS procedure code. So I'll give you just a minute to think about those root operations I just went over in the previous slide. And from those, which one do you think we would use for dialysis? Okay, hopefully everybody picked performance. Performance is our root operation. Let me read that definition. It is completely taking over a physiological function by extracorporeal means, which is what we're doing in dialysis. So how do we find that code? Well, in your PCS index, we're gonna look up performance. Then once we get to performance, we're gonna look up urinary, then prolonged intermittent, and we're going to pick 6 to 18 filtration, and it gives us our entire code, 
which is 5A1D80Z. Now, I always recommend that you still go to the table and verify that that code is correct. So now let's flip to the table portion of your PCS codebook to code 5A1D80Z and make sure that that tells the story of dialysis. Okay, I have one more case. This case is a 76-year-old patient who has pulsatile compression boots with intermittent inflation. So again, you always ask yourself, what is our root operation? And from there, we determine what our ICD-10 PCS code would be. So with this, what is the root operation? Think about those 11 that I went over for the extracorporeal therapy section and the three for the extracorporeal assistance and performance section. Again, you can look at your appendix in the back to look at the definitions until you're becoming familiar with those and have practiced with some flashcards. Okay, our answer, the root operation is assistance. Hopefully everyone selected that. Let me read that definition. The root operation assistance is taking over a portion of a physiological function by extracorporeal means. So you'll notice performance, what we just had, was completely taking over a physiological function by extracorporeal means. And this is assistance taking over a portion of a physiological function. So not completely taking it over, just a, a portion of it. And for this code, we're gonna look up assistance. So again, you always look up the root operation, right, in the PCS index. So we're gonna go to assistance, then we're gonna go to cardiac, and then to the pulsatile compression. And again, we have all our code characters right there. 5A02215. Oh, 2115. Because it's intermittent. Well, I hope you enjoyed coding in the extracorporeal assistance and performance section. And remember, practice makes perfect.